love attraction with Candace and Weasley. Please subscribe to my channel and please hit that bell notification ding and please hit that thumbs up button. Follow me on Facebook, love attraction with Candace and Instagram at LOA with Kit the end. Before you manifest that shit, don't forget to add good vibes only. This is my new intro. Enjoy my new video. Here we go. Hi, we're back. Happy Friday. And happy three day weekend ahead because it's Juneteenth on Monday and a lot of people are off. Sorry if you're not. Try to enjoy your day as best as you can. Right? And happy Father's Day for on Sunday for all the daddies and fur daddies, right? The cat daddies, the dog daddies, the rabbit daddies. <laughs> all the daddies that can't be with us. And today's my daddy's birthday. And happy birthday to my daddy. <laughs> He's 64. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Anyway, let me not blab, 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 like I tend to do. And I said in my very first video, I'm not going to talk a lot, but I end up doing that. Today we're going to talk about angel number 1111. A lot of people like 1111. A lot of people know about 1111. A lot of people see 1111, like myself. Usually when you see 1111, you say, make a wish. So we'll get into it in a second. So let's see if Weasley here could stay with me when I talk about 1111. So when you see 1111, you should make a wish. You should wish about what you're going to manifest. And when I say what you're going to manifest, because you are going to manifest it, as long as you believe in the wish coming true, right? That's part of the law of attraction, believing. People say make a wish when you see 1111, but a lot of people probably don't believe it'll come true, but it could. It's all about mindset. So when you see 1111, make a wish, say what you want to manifest. Say it as an affirmation. Sorry, you made me itch. <laughs> Your hands are going to my nosies. You look at the camera, oh my God, dude, you're so funny. Okay, now you look away. So what I was saying, when you see 1111, make a wish and say an affirmation. Say an affirmation based off what you want. If you want to have a Ferrari, you have to act as if you have that Ferrari when you say affirmation. I have a video called Acting As If You Already Have What You Want. So you have to believe and act as if and all the other rules I say to law of attraction like being grateful. So do all that in the affirmation. Say, thank you universe, I have my Ferrari. And say the color that you want or any details about the Ferrari when you see 1111. 11 is about manifesting. Your thoughts become your reality, and 1111 tells you that. So be careful what you're thinking about when you see 1111. Just like 111, it's almost the same thing. They both have the number one. You're sitting so nicely and easily. You're just looking around a lot. Can you look at the camera? Look at the camera. <laughs> Mia, you're like just sitting here. Let me like, drop more like this. So we see your whole body. See, you, you want to show off your beautiful tail? Let's see. <laughs> Rock a bye, baby, on the tree top. I love his tail. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing again. So 11 11. Let's get back to it, Weasel. You're distracting. Because, I mean, just look at this face. He gets me all these subscribers when I pull shorts. Also, when you see 1111, and if you say the affirmation, then you could also visualize. I have a video on visualizing. So say the affirmation and visualize it. Visualize that Ferrari, whatever color it is that you want, and all the details, the exact one that you want. Visualize, say the affirmation, we see 1111. And your wish shall come true, right? As long as you're believing, you're using law of attraction. Your wishes will manifest, right? I think you want to get down. <laughs> you can't even see the face that he made. He's 
like. When you're done, okay, you can eat it. So for making a wish, they also mention that in the movie The Secret. The Secret is the law of attraction. I've seen The Secret so many times. It's on Netflix and there's a book also. And in The Secret, they say, your wish is my command. <laughs> like a genie. Because your wish will come true as long as you believe and use the law of attraction. Your wish is the universe's command. It's all how you use the law of attraction and react. That's how the universe will react back. Your wish will come true. The universe will grant your wish as long as you use the law of attraction rules correctly. Remember, it always works whether you believe in it or not, if you know what it is or not. They also say that in The Secret. 1111 also wants you to know to be kind to yourself and to love yourself. I have love yourself videos. When you love yourself, you attract more, right? You attract other people to like you when you like yourself, when you love yourself. And you also attract things that you are going to manifest. The universe appreciates gratitude. So part of gratitude is loving yourself. If you don't love yourself, you're not grateful for yourself. You're not grateful for anything about yourself. I have videos on gratitude also. I remember I made playlists for certain things. So it was a grateful playlist. It was an angel number playlist. Playlists for a lot of stuff. And you'll see everything in the description that I talk about in videos. Playlists sometimes and the videos I talk about. So 1111 is telling you to be kind to yourself and to love yourself so you could attract what you want to manifest. As in love, when you see 1111, it means that your connection with your partner is going to be deeper and grow. And if you're single, it means that a new relationship is coming. And with career, it means that your hard work is going to be paid off and that you're going to grow into your job and to keep up the good work and don't stop doing what you do. Spiritually, it means that the universe is here for you and also to be kind to yourself and work on your inner self and your inner peace. 1111 also means you're headed on the right path, just like 444 does. Remember, I did videos on 000 all the way to 999. I thought I mentioned that in the beginning. And watch my video, pay attention to the angel numbers and pay attention to the signs and what to do when you see angel numbers and signs. And next week I'm going to do pay attention to the angel numbers part two. I like to do part two sometimes and part three I did for Love Yourself. 1111 also means new beginnings, just like 000 and 999. So some of these angel numbers mean the same things. They all mean that the angels are here and they're on your side and they're giving you messages. And I've said in other videos that you could look up what angel numbers mean. And angel numbers are stuff that you see over and over and over again. Because the universe, the angels, God is trying to tell you something. They're sending you messages. They speak to us. And they want you to know that everything's going to be okay. You're going to manifest what you want, but you have to follow the rules of law of attraction. And you have to do what the messages say. And I'm here to tell you in these messages what to do when you see these angel numbers. So like I said, when I, you see 1111, say affirmations and visualize. And know that your wish is going to come true. That you're going to manifest what you want. I have a video called Ask, Believe, Receive. I have a video called Believe. Because you have to believe. That's another rule for the law of attraction. I have so many rules, so go to my video. And you'll see my rules and what to do. So you can manifest what you want. The angel numbers are here to tell you that you are going to, but you have to do what they say. You have to do what I say to manifest what you want, like I have, because I manifest a lot. I have a lot of videos called How To or How I Manifest, and I have a playlist on that too. 1111 is also telling you that a deceased to loved one is here to protect you and watching over you. So your guardian angel could be someone that has passed away. I believe that my grandfather is here with me all the time. I've seen signs from him. And I think when I see 1111, it's from him or any other angel number. So know that whoever you love that's not here with you is on your side protecting you. And they could be the ones sending you this message. And put a smile on your face because that's a good thing. And when you're happy that you're seeing this number and you're saying the affirmations, and you're visualizing and you're happy in the moment then 
you can manifest what you want because you're being happy and you're being grateful that you're seeing this number because your loved one is speaking to you. And remember, angel numbers, even though if you don't believe in God or the angels, just know that they're numbers and messages from the universe and you're seeing them for a reason. And 1111 is telling you that. It's telling you that these me there are messages for you, even if you don't believe in God or angels. But the universe is telling you. You have to do what the universe is saying, whatever the messages are in 1111 or any angel number. 1111 also means to be careful what you're thinking about, just like 111. See, they both have ones in them. You have to be careful about what you're thinking about when you see the number. If you're thinking negatively, stop it. Think positively. I have a video called Be Positive. See, I have so many videos for so many things. So when you see 1111, be careful what you're thinking about because whatever you think about is going to manifest. You have to focus on what you want, not what you don't want. <laughs> I have a video on that too, but don't focus too much because when you're focusing too much, then you're thinking about the lack of it. So put that video to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but when you see 1111, focus on the things that you want. Focus on the positive. Focus on the good and believe and be grateful. And then you'll get what you want. If you're focusing on negative when you see 1111, it's telling you stop it. And stop focusing on what you don't want. That's basically what 1111 means. So with any angel number, you could see them everywhere. Not just on the time, but people see 1111 on the clock a lot. I don't only see it on the clock. I see it on phone numbers on cars, like a lot of taxis or Uber cars. I see it in license plates a lot. I see it on signs. I see them a lot, especially 1111. It's one of them that I see a lot too. Pay attention to the signs and angel numbers, like the videos I have. Capiche? So next week, I, like I said, I'll do pay attention to the signs part two. Oh, weasels behind me. I call Weasley Weasel sometimes. I like I call him Weasel more than I call him Weasley. Weasel, come here. All right, I got him. <laughs> so that's 1111. It's a very popular number. A lot of people know about it. Make your wish and believe it. And do what I say. And know now, now you know what the number means. All right, Weasel. So, have a great weekend. Those who are off, have a great three day weekend. And those who aren't off, try to enjoy your Monday. And happy Father's Day to all the daddies, all the types of daddies out there. <laughs> See you next Friday. Or pay attention to the angel numbers part two. Say bye, Weasel. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit that bell notification ding so you can get notified whenever I post a new video because they are random. And please give the video a thumbs up so I know you're enjoying the video. And please follow me on Facebook, Love Attraction.